Hey, hey! Well, time for a game against the Nightmare Nufflers. For some reason, I was about to read it as Nightmare Mufflers. Uh, I'm having some difficulty trying to imagine uh, dangerous mufflers. When it's time to put on some clothes, when snow falls, beware the mufflers. As you can see, there's not much difference between the two team values, so we had a little bit of money to spend, only 20,000 uh, crowns, not enough to get anything. So we will have to be careful, we don't want to lose our uh, secret weapons uh, too fast. We already know that they're going to be problematic. Because they all have, uh, all their ghouls have block. And that's bloody annoying. Okay, block. Uh, block and jump up. Here we go. <clears throat> so let's do our best with what we have. Thankfully, here we go both again, our trolls are here this time. Perfect defense. Ah, oh, I hate that result because it just resets everything and then you have no idea where everyone is. There we go. Jeez. All right. We have two mummies. The mummies have uh, guard, I think. Guard and stand firm. Guard and stand firm. That's not good. Oh no! Another one who actually plays the ball. <laughs> Did you know that, according to Spike Magazine, the number one all-time worst player award was Specky McGraw, who was in stand firm? Yay! Can you believe? Oh, that's never good. <coughs> I'll take that result any day. What do you expect? One of the goals, that's it. And two of those ghouls are right next. Uh. Oh no. Stay like this. Anyone around to raise the dead yet, Bob? No, sorry, too complicated. Things are not looking really good right now. I wanted to send these two guys against the goal, but uh, since there were only two of them, I thought that was uh, a bit dangerous. <coughs> Push is awesome. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if he planned it, but it won't do him any harm in the looks department. Uh, this is less fun. 
Ooh. Yes, thank you. Let's hope he, he makes it. Okay, good. I just needed a push. Ah, uh, well. Depends on what you do now. Then we'll probably try to bring the goal down. Oh, this is actually good for us. That was dangerous. Very dangerous. As soon as he throws his first punch. We have block here, we have block here. Did you know that Chapman? And we have reroll here. a problem. I don't quite know what to do. Oh, come on. And this was the worst possible <laughs> result. from Jaime Schnipp, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, that's deep. Much deep as his team's mm. position in the rankings. I want someone to be here just in case we can uh, uh, bring him back up. Come on, thank you. I think he's 
singing him a lullaby. The pitch is no place to lie down for a sleep. Well, after an uppercut like that, he doesn't have any choice. Taking chances here. We have two evil agility hits? here. The team that is made up of the mix of evil players. Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully married from what I see. Okay. I like this. And don't forget, children, don't try and do this in home. Okay, so <laughs> Bouncy Bugger, dead, dead on arrival. <laughs> we'll see Bouncy Bugger number four. <laughs> it's too bad, but ah, what are you gonna do? So it all depends on what the ghoul does. Also depends on what the zombie does here. Oh, this player good. has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. That player is picking away on a stretcher. But still alive, I can this is a problem because uh, before we had uh, a two uh, two die uh, two dice block. Now we don't, so we'll have to bring this guy. Oh yay! Mm -hmm. the living dead. Now, We're in trouble. If an undead it's not horrible, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> As I thought, therefore. Yes! Injured! Dead! Take that, bastard! Oh, yes! Was one of the annoying ones. Whee! Yeah, we're, we're trying stuff here. Now the troll has no help. Looks like there was Ooh, some bad blood between good. those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, uh, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. That helps a little bit. Okay. Spread that the referees give the set up rules concerning where, Phew. when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, the clubs are not allowed to offer yes. less than the going rate. He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite.
Mexicain. Oof, we were lucky there. So the goal will probably, yeah, that's what I expected. So they can't score. Right on the sure was, Jim. And he likely out. will. <laughs> the Blood Bowl annals are littered with stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling guts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. Here we have to take plenty of chances and we're likely uh, we likely won't be able to do it. Well, part one is done. Uh, well, so he just has to uh, dodge out of there and he did. Uh, yeah, I expected that. Well, uh, things are not looking good for us. So, that's all I can say. <laughs> We're only down one player. We killed one of theirs. It's pretty much the same. So, it's our last turn. We can't really use... What's this weird placement? Care. We only have one turn, and that's not enough to, uh, to score. Okay. Look, they walk, they make noises, they score touchdowns. Yes, Bob. They are old, undead blood bowl players. What did you expect? Jim, it still just surprises me each time I see them on the pitch. Yeah, ogres. Okay. Uh, trying to get rid of one guy. All right. Well, sadly. Okay. And uh trying to make some points. Will probably kill myself. Almost. <laughs> All right, so this is the end of the first half. We're losing. And I doubt we'll be able to win. But we'll do our best to at least even the score. Fanatic. Okay, so a little snot. All right. No uh, bombarding. Henry, the necromancer is the most famous undead coach out there. Of course, Bob. He's the head coach of Champions of Death. Not okay, that, I'm happy with that. Let's go. Dozen skeletons and give them knowledge of the game. A trend that was quickly followed. The ball goes High kick. Up. Well, this can help or hinder us. Uh. That reminds me of when I took Griff to bits 
in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You need Okay, to that's actually good. Oh. His nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. Okay, so I got the ball at least. A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in blood bowl players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. Mm, so here, what I'm gonna do with you. Hey! So we've taken care of our trolls. I I get a feeling they'll use our blitz to get to the loony. We'll see. So what I'm I'm gonna do is attack. I knew it. You can't say much about that. Well, he's just bad. Oh, no, that's fine. Perfectly legal. I know he had a front row seat for that song, but I doubt he could fully appreciate it. He won't appreciate the gaping wound either. So we're gonna go right. They're also going right. Okay. So first things first. Every now and again, Blood Bowl throws up a real yeah. mess. Like the mock yes. is made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to put some One bastard dead. Day. Okay, um... It's almost like we have no choice. And... With that type of silly result... Do you think you'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh, yes. Uh, He's not the sort to stay down. Okay. It seems this <clears throat> player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. Yes, sidestep, so it's not really uh, a good idea. Now we're in trouble because we, we're right next to the uh, the sideline. But it uh, depends on what happens. This is actually fine. We are especially lucky that nowadays necromancy is allowed. We're not too sure that the other this teams way. are thrilled. That's the point, Bob. Ah, yes. It's yep. thrilling, Jim. This way we can use one of the goblins. Do I want to use a reroll? Not yet. Ouch! That punch 
smoked his teeth down his throat. Yes, Jim. That's never a nice sight. Taking a chance, of course. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, phew! This helps! Taking so many clear chances here, and it worked. Okay, all depends on what happens here. Okay. So it depends on the white. Yes. 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 So I'm going to take a chance here. And what chance is that? We're asking. So uh, here I'm basically wasting time uh, because I think we're in an elimination type tournament. So I'm gonna do my best to waste as much time as possible as we know we're gonna lose our secret weapons. And uh, let's try to injure as many players as possible.
this goal is this way. Are completely out of the game. They can't hurt us. This white is a problem, but. An elimination type tournament. Yes. We just want to waste time, so we don't really care that much if we can't injure. And with hell, we've gotten rid of two of their goals, and another one is Kale, so with some luck, we might be able to get rid of them. We need to score next turn. We only have one reroll left anyway. However, depending on what happens, we might get a shot at this guy. He sent him down for a shot with the Astro Granite. Just look at the fans, they're red hot. A majority of support right in the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got them. If they don't want to join in the fun, Okay, let's stop here, and let's go score with a little snot. Yeehaw! One nothing! And... Yeah, that's it! We're not in an elimination Italian tournament. So, we get our win! Uh, actually, no. We get a tie. My bad.
and I'm happy with the tie considering the beginning of the game. Alright, we killed one of their ghouls. Of course they can, Bob. And let's not forget that bouncy bugger. Number three is dead. So that means bouncy bugger. Number four will be born soon enough. Children, don't yeah, try and do this at home. Remember, these that's are fine. seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Okay. Well, rather strangely enough, there were two dead in this game, yet it was a rather uneventful game. There we go. Usually, uh, spectators love ties. Not this time. We only got uh, 40,000. Oh, well. They saw plenty of the ball, but they just could get their hands on it. <laughs> Pipsqueak got the MVP the for 5 points. Lil Snot got the touchdown line. for 3 Everybody points. Clean. And Gobble Gobbler Jack got the dead. <laughs> for two points. I hope so. Otherwise, we're in for a dull match. He's the MVP in I my book. So, so Pipsqueak has enough to level up. You didn't get anything special, and for that, I'm getting rid of Pipsqueak. Pipsqueak number two will come take his place. Doo -doo -doo. And Bouncy Bugga Four is born. Bouncy bugger number three didn't last long. <laughs> he lasted what? One game? Maybe two? Uh, he died a glorious death. <laughs> uh, team value is still a little bit too high. Oh well. We have money. So I'm not complaining. However, we need to need uh, to win our next match against High Elves. Let's take a look at them. Woof! Level 6? Ow! Plus 1 agility, block, dodge, sure hands, accurate. That one is nasty. A catcher with 4 strength and block? Come on, man! <laughs> What's with this? Uh, dodge, yeah. Mighty blow, that's not fun. Lineman with plus 1 movement? Guard? Catcher with guard? Catcher with pass block. Plus one movement lineman. Oh boy. This could be painful. We'll see. We'll, we'll try to win. So anyway. Bouncy Bugger number four and Pipsqueak number two have joined the team. And hopefully they will be able to do some good before they die. Horribly like Bouncy Bugger number three. Anyway, I'll see you next time.